Hey, what's up, guys? It's Foster, and I am here with Alexia. Alexia, how are you? I'm just fine. What about you, Foster? I'm doing good. It's Sunday. It's a beautiful day in South Carolina, so I can't complain. Yes, and it's a beautiful day here in Rio as well, but super hot. Yeah. Well, and I'm dying. That's normal in Rio, and I hope you're <laughs> not literally dying, but I understand what you mean. <laughs> so, what's the subject about today? Are you ready to suffer a little bit? No. Good, because you don't have to. <laughs> so, today I wanted to talk about maybe one of the most common questions that I receive from all of my students, and it's just about prepositions. Okay? Okay. So, all of my students go crazy with prepositions. They have so many questions. When do I use in, on, at, phrasal verbs? How does that work? They have so many questions about prepositions. And one of the most common ones is always, when do you use in, on, and at? Okay? Okay. Okay, Alexia. So the thing that I think is really important and the mistake that I think most of my students make is they focus on rules with prepositions. Like, they have this idea that uh, if I can just memorize these 50 rules about all of the prepositions, everything will be okay and my English will be fluent. And then they study prepositions for two weeks and I talk to them and their English is more or less the same. So what I like to do is just use examples. Um, and then with those examples, you can kind of intuitively and more organically learn when you should use which preposition. Does that make sense? Yes, it makes a lot of sense. Perfect. So today, I'm just going to focus on two examples, and we're going to talk about the prepositions in and on. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Let's go. Yeah, you can actually say, I'm in. Little dance. <laughs> I'm in, bro. It's good. Sweet, bro. <laughs> okay, so example number one is that we almost always use in for cities and countries. So let me ask you a question, Alexia. Where are you right now? I'm in Rio de Janeiro. Perfect. Now can you give that question back to me? Foster, where are you now? I'm in Spartanburg, South Carolina, the city in which I was born, my home city, hometown. Um, cool. Cool. So you can also use this for states. So in your case, it is still Rio de Janeiro, but I could say I'm in South Carolina. Okay. Yes. So just to make it clear, um, every time that I'm going to talk about a place is always in? Um, not necessarily. So right now we're just starting with cities, states, and countries. So with more specific places like things or, you know, certain like you are on the bus, there are exceptions. But in general, if you really just want to give a general rule, yes, in is normally used for places. But don't okay. overcomplicate things, okay? okay? Just follow my instructions, Alexia, I promise. All will be clear <laughs> in the future. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so we can also use this for countries, obviously, just like cities and states. So, Alexia, what country are you in? I'm in Brazil. Where are you right now? I'm in Rio. Yeah, so with that question, you could easily say, I'm in Rio, talk about the city, or you can say, I'm in the state of Rio de Janeiro, or you can say, I'm in Brazil, right? Yes, of course. Because we travel a lot, so a lot of people, when I talk to my friends... Like right, Foster, where where in the world are you right now? <laughs> and I'm like, hey, I'm in I'm in Brazil. Okay. <laughs> so yes. you can use these examples and think like, oh, when I'm in New York or right now I'm in Sao Paulo, and you just transfer this example to every city, state, and country in the world. Sim, então você usa in para cidades, estados, países, qualquer um do mundo. Perfect. 
obviously there are exceptions. Like if I am going to uh, Spain, you're going to Spain because you are not in Spain yet. But that is different. I think everyone understands that difference, right? Yes, of course. Okay. Rule number two. This one is also pretty easy. That we use in when we are talking about months and years. Okay? Yes. So, for example, Alexia, when is your birthday? In what month? Uh, my birthday is in November. Perfect. Can you ask me a similar <laughs> question? I was in doubt just for a second. <laughs> Um, I always forget Foster, my birthday. <laughs> when is your birthday? My birthday, I'm pretty sure, is in October. Perfect. Cool. So, Alexia, when are you coming to see me in the United States? I think that I'm coming to the United States. No, I'm going, right? I think that I'm going to the United States in May, around May. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, maybe sooner. We will see. So <laughs> with months, uh, let's say, what is the weather like in Rio in January? So now we have cities and months. Um, in January, it's really hot in Rio. Perfect. Perfect. You see, you did not have to think. You just automatically said, in January, it's really hot in Rio. Both yes. prepositions, perfect. Excellent, meu amor. Oh. Se aprende rápido. A plus student. A plus student. Ok. Então, in para cidade, estado, país e para meses. E para anos. Anos também. So, for example, when were you born? What year? I was born in 1989. Perfect. Perfect. Can you ask me a similar question? Yes. Foster, when were you born? I was born also in 1989. We are Aww. very, very close in age. Yeah. And in what month were you born in? I was born in November. Of what year? 1989. So you were born in November in 1989. Yes. Perfect. And this is really helpful for years, like when you're talking about in the future or in the past. Like... In 2011, I lived in Spain. In 2019, I'm going to be living, I don't know, United States, something like that. Yeah, in 2019, I'm going to be living in the United States. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So, let me ask you, Alexia, in 2017, where did you spend most of your time? The most of my time I spend in Rio. Okay. So give me a complete phrase. <laughs> so in 2017. <laughs> in 2017, uh, most of time I was in Rio. Perfect. So in 2017 and in Rio. Again, you're combining the cities with the year. Perfect. So in for months and years, cities, states, countries. And now we have one exception. The only exception for today. Okay. Okay. We use on when we're talking about days. So on for days. Alexia, today is Sunday. So what yes. are you going to do on Monday? On Monday, I'm going to be working a lot. A good answer. That's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Can you ask me a question that has to do with days? Yes. What are you going to be doing on Wednesday? On Wednesday, uh, not really sure, but probably I will be working a lot on Wednesday. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. So you can use these combinations so in so many different ways. We can use for, sorry, we can use for like April 12th. I don't know. What are you going to be doing on April 12th? Exactly. So if you say, when is your birthday? Most people will say my birthday for for example, for me, my birthday is on October 23rd. So yes. technically, I'm including the month, but I'm talking about the day. So it's on. It's a little confusing. But if I say what day, it's always on. Okay? Okay. So when is your birthday? Então, para exactly. Dia, é sempre on. Um, é, my birthday is on 
November 16th. Perfect. And what are you what are you going to do on Friday? On Friday I'm going to be working as well. I don't have any news for this week. Yeah, we are workaholics boring. <laughs> um Yes. Okay. Cool. So just a quick revision, a quick summary is we use in with cities, states, countries, big places like that. We also use in for months and years, and then we use on for days. Pretty simple, right? Pretty simple. So, pretty simple. On... <laughs> o que eu falei? Yeah, I heard like simple or something. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Pretty simple. Perfect. Yes. So, on é para data, é in é para mês e ano, cidades, estados e países. Yes, yes. And what I recommend is forget everything I'm saying right now, that we have these rules, and just practice with examples. Like, oh, where yes. are you? I'm in uh, Sao Paulo. Oh, and when are you coming to the United States? I'm coming to the U.S. in May. And just use these examples, and I promise you will start organically, automatically thinking about these things in a more natural way. And it's a lot more fun, a lot easier. Any questions, Alexia? No, I'm fine. Okay, great. So that's it for today. We will be back soon with some more prepositions. Um, if you like the show and you want to see Alexia suffer a little bit more, join us <laughs> tomorrow. Okie dokie. Bye, guys. Ciao.